Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boo Boy Kennels, and I have a range video here for you, of course. Trying out some of the uh, pistols for the first time here with the Springfield XDM. And, um, you know, the gun actually shot pretty good. Now, the one that I use afterwards uh, actually shot a lot better, you know, just for the, uh, the first time use. But as far as this one itself, you know, it was, it was definitely pretty decent. And, uh, you know, it was really nice. Real, uh, real pleasure to, uh, to shoot. But anyways, pretty much, I mean, I tried to get my wife to go to the range with me. That didn't happen. She didn't want to go. You know, what can I do? You know, like, you know she's one of those uh, anti-gun people. You know, but I asked her, like, you know, how come you don't want to go? She wanted to ask. I said, what, you scared to go shooting? She's like, yeah. So what can you do? I tried. But it didn't work out that way. But either way, I was able to go ahead and uh, get out to the range. And uh, definitely uh, put the waste some ammo. Now, on one one particular gun, which you actually uh, end up somewhat seeing it, but you can kind of tell something happened. And basically, it just uh, failed to feed. So, luckily, I brought a lot of. 40 cal ammo with me, so I just kept uh, putting more magazines through it well, at, during the time that I was at the range, and I didn't have any any uh, any further issues. But on that very first mag, which was the first time even using it, just a few rounds in, and the gun just failed to feed. Now, what could have really caused it? Man, I don't know. Now, I did, uh, did buy some new ammo. Actually, I got a, I got about 300 rounds of it. But I got it for pretty cheap. Some um, Spear Dot Lawman. I believe is what it is. So it's my first time using that ammo. I'm even on my my, uh, my main carry clock. You know, it's first time using the ammo for that. And that one took it perfectly fine. But the gray one was the one that I failed to feed. And it just did it that one time. So that's why I, I went ahead and put some more mags through it. To see how the uh, you know the gun would go, whether it would happen again or not. But it didn't happen again, so that was definitely a good thing. Uh, also, now I got to shoot my uh, Glock 20. And believe it or not, that felt a whole lot better than shooting the, uh, the Glock 23. It, it really did. Granted, it's you know, a lot bigger and bulkier. A lot harder for me to grip. But it shot really well. You know, really straight. So the uh, 23 was really good on that. Now, the thing was, after you know, shooting several, several mags, um, my arms actually was getting tired. So I was being a little lazy with my grip posture and everything so I started pulling some shots down but I, mean, I guess that's to be expected just got to practice more and uh, and fight through that but um yeah but back to what I was saying as far as the uh, the Glock 20 you know for uh, first time shooting the uh, 10 mil it, it was a pleasure to shoot it, it really was now here's the thing. I had eventually ended up getting my first 1911. Because I hear a lot of a lot of hype about it, a lot of praise, and you know, pretty much a lot of good things, and a few not so good things. But some of the good things that I, that I hear about the gun is, you know, how it shoots, its point of aim. You know, it doesn't really have much felt recoil to it. And, and the gun, you know, handles well. Hey, I must say that that uh that Kimber 1911 that definitely made me a believer. Would I carry it though? No. 
Not with the little um, round magazine capacity that it has. I mean, for all that, I could be carrying a, you know, like a Glock 26 or something. No, not even that. Uh, was it the uh, 40, 43 and the 42? You know, but I want something with that, that low of a mag capacity. So, I mean, that's the only grape I have about it. It's just that mag capacity. Other than that, that thing shot beautiful. I mean, talk about being accurate. Oh, my goodness. That thing's a hole puncher in the same spot. Pretty much over and over. So, definitely had fun shooting that. So, that was definitely... Definitely a, uh, a good thing. And here's where the in the video where the uh, Glock 23, the uh, great frame, failed to feed. So, you know, that's just what happened at that point in time. Didn't do it again. You know, like I said, I had about, yeah, I had 300 rounds. It has six boxes of it. So I ain't with no more issues after that, so that was the the first and only time. You know, and then and then I got to uh, put my gloves on or at least one of my gloves on. Only because my hands was just starting to get tired. Cause I just need to practice more for that though. Get a little bit more arm strength, you know? A little a little more, a little more. That way. I don't have that problem. But other than that, I mean, it was pretty much a really good day. Had fun with it. Would have really uh, loved it my wife really went, but she didn't go, so I had to do the do and go along with it. And what was funny is shooting all those um, different pistols, especially when it came to the, to the, the um, Glock 20 in compared to the 23. Big night and day difference in how they feel. Big night and day difference. I mean, it felt like the uh, the 23 just just seemed to have more recoil and just be a whole lot more snappier compared to the 20. I mean, it really did. I mean, even the um, the uh, 1911. Didn't feel nowhere near as um, nowhere near as having as much felt recoil. So I, I was probably I would say that it had the most recoil and the most snappiest was the uh, 23 and the 40 cal out of everything that I shot today. I mean I, I had to keep you know, readjusting my grip plenty of times with that. Yeah, that's pretty much all about I'm going to get to talking about. Other than that, you can enjoy the rest of the video if you like. Have fun with it. You know, as always, like the video, thumb it up or thumb it down. Whichever one you think it deserves. Share it with your mama, your cousin, your auntie, your grandma, mom, your family, you know. Other than that, it's been your boy, Blue boy, boy, Kennels. And as always, keep them scratching. Peace. To the next video.